tired of paying retail prices for a Pokemon TCG? Then go to ccgcastle.com where you can find packs under $3 a piece, as well as Elite Trainer Boxes, Booster Boxes, and more at great prices. Use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 and save 5% off your next order. What's up, guys? And here, welcome back to Evolutionary Gaming, and today, We've got two of the theme decks from Cosmic Eclipse here to show you all. We've got the Primal Fish. He has returned to us as well as the Primal Lizard. Now, I'm actually not too certain why they chose this particular set to bring these guys back, but I'm not really complaining one bit. I'm going to go ahead and open these up here, show you guys what's inside them. For those of you who already know this, but for those of you who don't, I actually am a big fan and supporter of the theme decks. Honestly, like, I do think there's a lot of hidden potential with them that a lot of people do overlook just because of their nature of what they are. But they can at times come with some pretty neat staples. Yeah. There's been, there's even been some more recently that have come with, like, absolute core staple supporters and items and stuff that you absolutely need in the current game. So it's really, really cool. All right, I'll start off here with the Primal Fish. Alright. Woo! Alright. So what you get here is that you get damage markers here, ranging from tens of 50 and 100. You get a burn counter that also acts as a poison counter on the back, as well as a you get a tag team GX counter right here. It's all cardboard. You get a paper mat. I might be able to open up the whole thing, but you get a paper mat here showing where everything needs to go, and it is double-sided, so. Very awesome for those new people who are just getting into the game. You get a code card as well of the said theme deck. And you also do get a coin. Yes. I, I definitely like this coin. I'm definitely going to be using this coin whenever I play with friends. And we you also do get a Shadow Foil version of the Kyogre card here. Now let's go ahead and see what it does. It has two attacks. First one being high water. You attach two energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. Not bad. My only wish is that this did damage. If this did damage on top of it, it'd be fantastic. But beggars can't be choosers. And you've also got swirling waves for 130. And it discards energy from this Pokemon. Which even though that, that looks kind of awful. I mean, if you really think about it. Fire is one of the biggest things in our format right now, so a 130 turns to a 260. One shot, knocking out a lot of things. Alright. Let's go ahead and see the deck itself that we get in here. Very nice artwork on it. It's a beautiful Kyogre. Alright, so you get water energies. You get Apon, a Tate and Liza. This isn't a bad supporter. You shove your hand, draw five, or you get to switch your active Pokemon with one on your bench. So not a terrible supporter. Fan Club is also not a terrible one. Cynthia, core, a core, see what I mean? A core supporter. Get one of our core supporters right now in this. Let me put that aside. And also does say on the back everything that you do get, but I would prefer to show you guys in person. You also get Lily as well. Along with another water. Viridian Forest. Now this is a really good stadium right now. I want to say a few of of the top decks are using this, like Malamar using this. I believe some variants of Picaram and Rushy Zard use this. I don't know. Wait. Well, I know they mainly use the um, the giant Hearth, but I've seen some strange variants that use this as well. More water. Got yourself a Piplup. You got a Switch, always handy. Another Apom. Got yourself a Gold Duck and Polion. A Pokemon Communication, absolutely needed in this format. Right now, so you get Psyduck, Pikamuku, Water Energies, Roller Skater, not a bad one. You get a Fiona, which is not too bad. Ambipom, more Water, and then Liza. We're still getting House. <laughs> a Draw Energy. This card's actually not too bad. Alright, so you get another Lily, another Cynthia. That's two of each of the core supporters right now. Along with a non Shadow Foyer version of the Kyogre. Pokemon Fan Club is a pretty good one too. To have. And you get two. And you get. A, that's another Pokemon communication. So you get two of these. So you get a lot of core stuff in this. 
So that's the two Lilies and two Cynthia's. And yes, I realize the Lilies are not going to be core supporters for too much longer, but at the moment, she still is. All right, now let's go over the Kyogre box. The Kyogre box, what, the Groudon box. <laughs> oh, if he was here, he would stomp me into mashed potatoes right now. So his stuff comes with the exact same things. It comes with the cardboard cutouts, the paper mats, the code card, he gets his own coin, which also does look very good. And he gets a Shadow Boy version of his card that is in the new set of Cosmic Eclipse. So his two attacks are Droughts. You attach up to two fighting cards from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. Not as good as discard, but there are situations where being able to attach from the hand is definitely way, way better. So there's a garbage truck outside. Oh, no, wait, it's a recycling truck. There we go. Always recycle. And also we have Trembling Ground here for 130, and this Pokemon can't use Trembling Ground during your next turn. So it's, it's one energy less than the Kyogre, and it does hit Fighting Weakness, which is also pretty good. Because there are still, there are quite a few things weak to Fighting in our format right now. But just the trouble that he can't use it during the next turn. Oh well. So you get Fighting Energy out of this. Get a Simeon, Tain Liza again. A lot of your core supporters are going to be the same here. That's on the Tain Liza, Pokemon Fan Club, Cynthia. Get your Lily. Lady is also not a bad one. You search for four basics and add them to your hand. Certain Dexes is actually not a bad card. All right, so that Fighting Energy Gibble. Got a Switch Seismic Toad. You get Garchomp here from Unified Minds. This Garchomp's actually not too bad. Overslice for 80. You pitch an energy, it does 40 more damage. And Avenging Aura, if, you're, if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, this, poke, this Pokemon's attacks do 80 more damage. This is meant to work with Martial Arts Dojo and also Karate Belt. Which I wouldn't be surprised if both of them were in here. I have actually not looked at the back yet. Another Pokemon Communication, Fighting Energy, Papa Toad. Got your good bite. Bug Catcher, Bench Barrier, Mew. So every now and then you do get core Pokemon as well. And this is definitely one of them. Like this Mew right here is used in so many decks. And the fact you just get one just by buying a deck is pretty good. So Pop Titan Poles, Titan Laser, Seismic Toads. Another How, of course. Draw Energy, you got Throw. Lily, Cynthia again, another Garchomp. Uh, non Shadow Foil Groudon. All in all, not bad. Not bad at all. Let me just go ahead and put all those there. So guys, yeah, as you see here, these the theme decks do come with some pretty nice staple stuff. And I, bleh, tongue tied. But the reason they don't really catch a lot of attention is that a lot of people just see them as like, oh, this, they just give you a really bad deck here. But that's not always the way to look at it. You need to, I think, personally think you need to look at it as not only it's meant really more to help out players who are just starting in the game, but now especially ever since, I wanna say ever since Sun and Moon even started, it's come with so much staple stuff that you would normally have to get lucky with pull, trade, or go to the hassle buying online. Well, with this right here, you're getting already a deck, which if, again, if you're brand new to the game, that's perfect. You're getting core staple stuff. So even if you do go further into competitive play, those are, those are trainers and sometimes Pokemon that you could use in those competitive decks. And it all comes in a nice bundle of a theme deck. All right, guys. So thank you very much here for joining me here today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, like and comment down below. And with that, everybody, I will catch you all next time, and I hope you all have a great day.